Hey A team, and today we are going to be DIYing our front closet and turning it into a multifunctional organizational space that you'll be able to enjoy for years to come. With that being said, I'm going to be showing you a before and after, kind of like the journey of from where it was to where it is now. I hope that you like the DIY video and that you guys can replicate and do this yourself just by creating your own accent wall within your closet and then providing the space that you do have depending on how much space you do have. You probably will have more space than this, um, but um, you can get really creative and do your own DIY to your own house and it kind of brings a little bit more value to the house and it's more welcoming when you do come to the front door. It's not like you're staggered and it's more open. So with that being said, let's get to the video and let's go from start to the finish. I hope you enjoy. So this is what we're going to revamp. Here is our lovely entrance. And usually there's lots of shoes at the bottom. I've kind of removed them right now. A coat rack. There used to be a shelf up top here, um, but I've already removed it. This is what we're dealing with. Eventually, I am going to be changing out this door to bring more light in. It's very 80s. Um, I painted it red for the time being. Now it's got to go because it is absolutely disgusting. So this is the square footage that we are working with, guys. It's not a lot of square footage, but we are going to make it happen. I have a lot of great ideas that we will be doing in here for this little spot, this little entrance for the front. But this is what it originally looks like, okay? So I just want to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. Just so you can see this amount of space that we are dealing with. A three by three and a half is what we have to work with. So let's get started. So this is what it looks like so far. I know I have to put the light switch on. I also know I have to paint this out to white. Um, I was actually thinking about doing black in there. I think it might look really classy. I have to touch up the paint here for sure. Um, and then I have done the baseboards. I'm going to do a second coat of the baseboards now. I have done the baseboards and I have also coated around the wall uh, where the wallpaper is going to go. There was a wood piece here that was embedded into the drywall so I had to tape and mud and get that all fixed up so now it looks perfect and it's ready to be painted. I'm going to do another second coat around the entire wall before I start applying the wallpaper, as well as I've marked the lines of where I want the wallpaper to go in the middle so that I have a nice seam. I'll explain the reason why I want the seam in the middle. Hey A-Team, so today um, it is another day, but I wanted to show you exactly what I have done in this front entrance. Um, so let's go ahead and just Take a look at what I've done. Here is the big reveal. So I have gotten this very, very cute bench. And this is the feature wall. It's an absolute classic. Love it to death. And I thought that it would go really good with kind of the look. We also have these floating shelves. And these are actually new to Ikea as well. And they're very, very big. They're 24 inches wide, 12 inches in depth. I have to figure out what I'm going to do for the coats um, and where I'm going to place the coats because really we don't have a lot of options. We have this one wall, which I am going to be painting out. It's going to be a fun color. I don't know if I should put like hooks in the back here on this wall or if I should have them on just like adjacent to the wall. I think maybe adjacent to the wall would probably be best, but I'm not entirely too sure. Here are the coat hanger racks that I got from Ikea. I got two of them, and I thought that they are super, super glam, and I thought with the black and white theme that I am doing in this space, that those would look really nice. Got the wall done there. Here is the newest addition. 
pretty amazing pink wall. It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. That's what we have gotten done today. So I painted out this wall here, which you just saw guys painting out this whole wall um, er earlier today. So here we have our front entrance and it is all painted up nice and glam, looking pretty good. So we have the coat racks right here guys and I have them kind of staggered, one there and I also have another one below, which is right here. So they're staggered on each side, so you kind of get the full effect. Anyway, so this is what it is. I just wanted to show you. I actually finally have the basket. It took me a couple weeks, to be honest with you, because I'm super picky about how things look in a space. And I want to make sure that it bows properly and that it has like a story to tell. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've done to transform the space. So we have gone ahead and cleaned out the grout finally and the floor is actually very very clean um we have gone ahead and painted this wall out i haven't done this yet but i will cover plate is on and looking pretty nifty and fine this has all been painted through as well remember we are changing this door out so we have our shoe rack and we have our wallpaper and do you remember when I asked you guys why um, I was lining up the lines in the center is because my seam of my wallpaper is right here and I wanted to make sure that when I was applying the wallpaper that this was in the center of the wall. So that is the reason is because that is in the center of the wall perfectly. You can't get any more center than it is. I did get these baskets and I thought they were super, super cute. Um, I absolutely love them. And they're really, really big, actually. And then I put a floral arrangement at the top. I thought that we would have a spiller come over the baskets and the shelf to make it more cohesive. So I hope you like this DIY project. And you can kind of replicate this yourself and turn your coat closet into a sitting area as well. And you can take up more square footage by using a coat closet and turning it into a multifunctional storage area that you can use for different purposes. Please like, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert button so that every single time that I do post a new video, you'll get an alert and be the first to see it. Until then, thanks so much for tuning in to this DIY project. We'll catch you on the next video. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's